So you've been touring for 30 years now, and uh, how can you say 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> how, how can you say the crowds are different from when you first started out to, to what it's like now? I mean, you played everywhere. You played huge arenas, you played clubs. I mean, you're you know, yeah. you've been all over the world. Yeah, I, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if it's changed that much. I mean, moment it, it's. Uh, it's if like massive big crowds with Ronnie that's a little smaller and stuff like that. It's massive crowds again with another band. I mean it's like the way I look at it, mate, if there's eight people there or there's eight eighty thousand, it doesn't really it, you know, I still play the way I right, you know, right. play hundred percent as best I can. So you know that that's kind of the way I, I look at it. You know, and heavy metal I think has changed. If you, there's the new metal and stuff that's out, which is pretty good. There's some great stuff out there and you know, the, but the, you know, I'm old school, the old stuff is... Yeah, definitely. Well, let's see, my old stuff is back to, like, only Lizzie and Zeppelin, the only Zeppelin, so... Right. I'm sure there's older people who go further back, but, you know, it's still kind of old school. But right. there's some good stuff. You've definitely influenced a lot of the, the newer heavy metal acts out there, I mean, for from the bands you've been part of and things like that. I mean, the new guys are come up to you guys and say thank you for everything you've done. And, yeah, and sometimes like you see that, but sometimes when we do festivals and, and there's a whole collection of bands and stuff, you know, you get to meet those guys and stuff. I mean, it's really cool because they, you know, I mean, they, they, they pick from what we've done in the past and all. And, and they've taken it forward, it's all good, and some brilliant musicians out there, you know, so it's, yeah, it's all good. So where do you see the disciples going from here? After, after you guys get back together in January, I mean, maybe an album, or? I'm not sure exactly, but it's, uh, we're still working on that way. I don't know about an album, but we're, we're, we're going to have to stop and think hard about that, because we're not sure which direction we should go. But there will be one at some point, but for right now we're just concentrating on the touring side of it. How, how the fans? <coughs> oh, they're great. They're just incredible. I mean, you know, it's uh, you see them, and you know, there's, there's like tears, and then the tears will stop, and he smiles, and then rocking out, and then they'll be back to we'll do another song, and then they'll remind him of something else. His tears. You see the all emotions, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's fantastic. It it's, is. So many people love Ronnie's music, and for you guys to go ahead and. Continue with, I mean, the passion that you guys had. Well, I think I think what happens is it's good for all of us. It's good for us too because it's kind of like a situation where you know you're letting stuff out instead right. of bottling it all up. You know. Yeah, you definitely. Know? So we get from it, and fans get from it as well. You know, that's that's the thing. You know, it's. I mean, the, the great thing is meeting meeting Ronnie's fans after we play, and they've got all these stories. They remember him and the situations they were in, and how to and that game, getting there, going home, you know. All right, the, right. The whole thing, you know, the whole gamut, and you, you're like, wow, it's great, you know. You just, they just love Ronnie, you know. Yeah. We're the same way, you know. There's well, a lot of real grieving process for us too. So yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a big movement to, to lose your lead singer, and then especially with somebody who had such a, a presence and that's Ronnie did, and then have you guys go ahead and go forward with it and carry on his music. It's, well, that was a big move, you know, like I said, we talked really hard about it because, you know, my, people might think we're, we're doing, you know, the wrong thing here, which is right, you know, rightly so, everybody has their opinion, you know, but right. you should give it a chance, come and see it, check it out, because it's, it's sincere from the heart, you know, and, uh, you know, Ronnie was our boss, not only our boss, but our friend. Right, yeah, our definitely. best friend, so, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, where can the fans get a, a list of the tours and stops that are? Uh, you can go to Facebook, the other side of Facebook. You got and, the uh, Facebook page on? I've got one, yeah. I've got the band has one, the other side as well. And also, I think uh, they post it on the Ronnie James Dio fan page as well. So, uh, What do you think about Facebook? I mean, from somebody who's been in the music industry for so many I, years, for now to have to go on the computer, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. It's been a big, you know? Yeah, I, t I mean, I just take it. It is. I mean, you get lots of friends, and some of them are, are <laughs> you know, not really your friends and stuff. But it's good, you know, to connect that way, just in case they want to ask you a question right. or something comes up. It's great that way. Or send a picture, you know, or, or, or uh, some video or whatever. 
So you run your own page then? That, uh, so you know, if someone goes and sees Simon Wright on Facebook, they're going to be talking to you and not like a... Yeah, yeah. I've, I've also, i got so many, i got that to get a new page, right? Because i got like 5,000 and then you've got to like get a, right, business, once you get a those, business page yeah. or a uh -huh. fan page or whatever, which is a little bit more impersonal. But I mean, I, I run my page, not every day, but you know, I get to... Well, yeah, when you get the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. I mean, that's cool. I mean, sometimes you go ahead and... You see these postings on there, you know it's definitely not from the artists themselves. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, they're on the road. You know what they're, you know, they're going through different things, and you see like, oh, check me out here, or something like that. You know, it's definitely like a yeah, you know, it's someone else's thing. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I didn't want to do that. I just but I, I end up deleting a lot of stuff. It's like you get a lot of stuff on there. It's just like crap. Right. You what know, are you gonna do? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what, what do you want to promote? Sorry. Anything you want to promote? Just deal disciples. I mean, uh, like I said, you know, I mean, come check it out. I mean, if anyone's, you know, if he's watching, you know, just come check it out. It's from the heart. We're doing this because we love Ronnie. Ronnie was my best friend. I know he had a lot of best friends, but me and him through what went through hell together. So come check it out. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's a good show. We're doing it, making sure it's a good show. How long does the show usually run for? I mean, uh, it's around about 85, 90 minutes. So you guys go through a, a, a good majority of his catalog yeah. then? Yeah, yeah, we try to put in, we can't please everyone, but we try to put in as much as we can. So it's definitely going to be a show just hit after hit then, I mean, if, if, it's, you know, if you guys are able to go through yeah, everything Yeah, exactly, that yeah, 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 we try to keep it that way. And uh, it's not very hard because you have a lot of hits. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, I mean, it's good that way. But, that um, sounds going to be like, you know, something that really please the fans, so. Yeah. We try to throw in some of the stuff that's, that's you know, not, that, that's a little different, but they're still brilliant songs. I mean, you know, and, uh, we keep an eye on the internet and what the fans are talking about and stuff, so right. that's cool. Yeah, definitely. And, um, I even put out a blog uh, on Facebook, you know, it's like, let us know uh, what songs you want us to do, we can't please you all, but just oh, that's send cool. us some stuff, so. I mean, that's great. I mean, sometimes you go to these shows and you pay your money to see, you know what I mean, and these people are, Doing their the B sides and the back tracks. I mean, you know, the fans want to see the hits. You know, what I mean, especially in a situation like that. That's, well, it's that's right. fantastic. Yeah, that gives the fans a chance to say, well, we don't want to, you know, try this song. You know, yeah. Or, or that hasn't been done ever done before. Try that one. You know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that works out good for us and good for them. So. so you guys are able to constantly change your set line up then. So I mean, somebody says, you know, if things are working out one way, you might be able to switch something over another. Yeah, oh, we we don't kind of. We, we don't test ourselves that much, but we've got a set play. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right, right. And, uh, but it's like I say, it's good. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's been well thought out and uh, trying to please everybody. So. Right, right. We usually change it from tour to tour. Okay. Happens, so. Yeah. Cool. So, whenever you want to take a look at the tour, they can go to Facebook, look up Deal Disciples, and they can look up Simon Wright. I mean, he has a vast career of different acts, different bands. I mean, there's a lot to learn from. All right, man, I appreciate it. No problem, Ramsey. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best.